Multi-part forms are a great way to shorten these long forms that you have. Sometimes you need your client or your user to fill out their name, email address, their billing address, their shipping address, uh, check this box and that box, so on and so forth. That could lead up to a very, very long form. Breaking that down into a multi-part form is a great solution for these long extended forms. Aloha everybody, I'm Chris Jules and today I'm showing you how to make multi-part forms using the Ninja Forms plugin. You do need the premium version of the Ninja Forms plugin to make these multi-part forms. If you need to get that, I have a link below that's an affiliate link and if you use that link, I get a small kickback and it helps the channel grow. So without further ado, let's get started making multi-part forms. All right, so here we are at our sample website, yourdivvywebsite.com, and I've created a contact us page. This video, I am going to make a, show you how to make multi-part forms with Ninja Forms. The paid version is needed to make this kind of form as well. In our plugins, you have to have installed Ninja Forms. This is the free plugin that comes in the WordPress directory. And then you need to add the plugin that provides the functionality that you want. For instance, in this plugin, in this form, we want to create a multi-part form. So I need to go to their website, download this plugin, install it, and activate it, which I have done here. All right, so here we are at our Ninja Forms dashboard. And you'll see I have created a form that I just showed you, a multi-part form. Let's take a look at that form a little bit more. So you'll see here that I have a three-step form, one, two, and three. You know, sometimes it will let you go to these next ones, these next steps, but it won't let you if you have fields that are required that are not filled out, okay? And it will not let me go to the next step unless I have these fields filled out. I'm gonna fill them out real quick. So you'll see here I filled out the form and I've met all the requirements and then now I could go to step two, okay? So in step two, let's say for instance, I want my user's address. So they would enter the address here and then go to the next step. So you could do this with as many steps as you like to gather the info that you need. Let's go ahead and fill this in and go to the next step. And so after we've filled in the required fields, we could go to the next step. And then finally, after these fields have formed, we could submit the video, uh, submit the form. Uh, as you'll see though, I haven't made these required. So I could submit the form even if these are not selected. So maybe on your third step, you have a list, yeah, your client selects a color or a size they want of something. Okay, and then you could press submit. And then you could also go to previous steps and resubmit those as well. So let me just go ahead and show you that since you already know how to create a basic form. And if you don't, I'll post a link to my previous video on that one. So let's go to a multi-part form here and we'll just go ahead and, go ahead and select it. And you'll see here that I have a step two, step three, and obviously the step one of each step of the form. Those are my set, first set of fields. Here are my second set of fields that I have made required as well. And then finally, here's my third step with my submit button. So let's just go ahead and close this. Let's create a new form and we are gonna go ahead and select blank form. And here we are at our blank form. And first what we want to do is go ahead and go to our advanced tab and come over here and select the multi-part form. Now you may or may not have these other options depending on the settings and the plugins that you have installed on your installation, okay? So we're gonna select multi-part and then we're gonna select our options that we want. So we want to validate each part before we move on. That's usually a good idea. And that just says that if one section has a required field, it makes sure that field is set up correctly before it moves on to the next step. Uh, showing the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs are showing you the steps. Uh, we do not need a progress bar on a form like this. We want to show the, the part titles. That's a good thing to have if you have a multi-step process and kind of just telling them what they're doing. We want to show a previous button and the next button and this is what you would say the button would read, okay? And then styles, you could, we could style later in another video. I'll have that posted above. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and press done and we're going to go back to our form fields. And so what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and all, add all our basic form fields that we need when we start usually a form. So we've got our first little tab here. And so this one, we could add a new step to our form, okay? 
So now we're just gonna go ahead and add more forms that we want here. Let's say this one, we want our user's address and that would be done. And then you will see here, we have our second step. So if we look at our preview and we come down here, we'll see we have a two-step form and that we could go to each part because I haven't made any of these required. Okay, so when they're not required, we could go on to the next part without any kind of issue. Let's go ahead and go back to our form and then we could add another part and, and add more fields. So you could do something like a radio list. You could change this title and change what it is they select. And then last but not least, every form needs a submit button. So we're gonna drag that in there, drop that in there as well. And we are gonna press done. So let's just go back over here to our first step. And let's say we want to make all of these required. And we wanna make this required too. And this helps prevent the user from moving on without taking care of these steps, okay? So we're gonna go back to our preview page and refresh it. And you'll see now we've, getting, we've gotten the reminder that all fields with an asterisk are required. And we can no longer move to the second part unless part one is filled out correctly, okay? And I showed you how that worked already. So if I completed this, it would move on to the next part and the next part. Let's change this part title. Here we are in our tabs and we are in tab one here. And if we go down to part title or to and double click on this tab, we could get, we could change this here. So we could call it like sign up. We could say, call this one, double click it. Uh, address select a prize mm -hmm. okay okay and then we can you can name the parts and so then we're going to go ahead and go back to our preview refresh it and you'll see the parts for each part of the form are updated the last thing we could do is let's say you want a billing address and a shipping address. You could do something like double click on this guy and you could duplicate the part. Okay. And then maybe you want to call this shipping address. All right. And then you want to call this billing. Done. Go back, refresh it and you'll see everything has been updated and we have a new tab as well. Now, this is a video on adding these multi-step forms to your Ninja forms. I'm not gonna go over how to uh, input all of these. I have a, a post a video above on some of my basics on how to set up forms, but that should sh give you a pretty good start on creating multi-part uh, forms. And then obviously when we're done with this form, you need to press publish. We'll give it a title and we will publish that, okay? And that's how you get a multi-part form set up in your website. And there you go. I showed you how to make multi-part forms using the premium version of the Ninja Forms Builder. So get out there, make those long extended forms shorter and easier for your users to use. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll catch you next one. Aloha.